Hi, I'm John McMillan, and welcome to this part four of five in my LP Creator Series uh, blog. And this one is actually going to be a video. I'm going to show you a real neat feature about LP Creator that shows you how to update a complete library of land patterns very quickly and easily using the wizard command. So what I want to do is I want to take the preferences file, and I've taken the default preferences file, and I've named it john.xml. And by default, all the rules are set on default, which are the IPC standard. Uh, that is, the, the exceptions are uh, items that aren't covered by IPC, including drafting standards. And a lot of these are taken from your own company's best practices. Right now, by default, the tool defaults to the same uh, default settings as it does for IPC as you do for your user settings. But you can change these anytime you want. So out of the box, the default settings have the silk screen outline width, which is driven by best practices versus IPC convention. And now make it 0.15 uh, silk screen outline width. And what we'll do is we'll save and close that. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring up a library I have here created. And it just has, um, call it John Demo, it has 200 BGA packages in it. And I'll just open up one of these very quickly to show you. These are all created uh, with the default IPC settings, calculator settings, and you'll see that everything is 0 0.20 for the silk screen line width. In fact, all of these parts are. Um, they were all built with the same sets of preferences. Again, there you can see I have it here. So now I'm tasked with having to update the silk screen width for all 200 of these BGAs. So what I can do easily is select the whole library, go into the tools wizard, and when the wizard launches, what this enables me to do is see these are current preference settings, which are the John XML, which have the 0.15 silk screen width, or use the original settings. So I want to use my current settings, and I'm just going to keep the uh, original name and everything the same, and just recreate this library very quickly with updating everything from 0.20 to 0.15. I hit continue and what I'll do is I'm just going to name this um, we'll call it uh, John 2 for example and I'll hit save. I'm not going to pick a tool to create it with I could do them both at the same time but I'm just going to create the new PLBL9 file and then I can create individual ones or the whole library anytime that I want. So I'm hitting create and close. It's warning me that if it existed it's already going to override it but the library is empty because we've just created it from scratch. Uh, to do these 200 land patterns, it, as you can see, it just takes a few seconds. This is real time. And it tells me that the 200 land patterns were created in this john 2plb 9 So now all I have to do is um, add a library because it's not in my library selection list. john 2plb 9 you can see it was just created. And as I click onto any of these parts, I can go into the calculator settings, global settings, I'm sorry, and hit screen line width is all 0.15. So now all 200 of my BGAs, I made an update to the global settings from changing it from 0.20 to 0.15. I could have done this for the, same, the starter library with over 3,000 parts or 10,000 parts or however many it was, and I could update them that quickly. As you can see, it's a great productivity tool. Okay, so that's the feature I wanted to show you this week. I'll tell you about the tip or trick I want to show you this week. Um, what, is going, it, what it is, is um, so what we have here is the user, default user.xml file. The default user.xml file is the one that has all the IPC built-in and best practices settings that, that the tool comes with. And sometimes or uh, a user may find themselves changing the user settings because they want to manipulate some of these and then um, I'll, I'll change some of these to 11, some really odd numbers, just so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, 51, 11, 11, 51. And I'll do a save and close. Now, what we've done is I've actually written over the default settings in the tool. And that may not be uh, what I want to do, but what I want to show you is how to recover those. So, um, again, I'll go to lots of preferences one more time. Look at the default settings, and I look, I have it set to user. Uh, what the default settings were originally it came with I'm not really sure about anymore so what I'll do is I'll close out of this I'm saving the changes of course all I have to do is go to the file directory where the uh, XMLs are stored and here it is and updated recently um, I go and delete it that's right just delete the default user.xml file 
and now that's done. And now, when I go into preferences, and I look at the uh, default.xml file, you'll see that there's not one there. And now, when I go to relaunch the tool, I relaunch the tool, preferences, back to my drafting settings, and you'll see it recreated the file back with all of the default settings. And I can go back into the directory that's there. And now it recreates it. So that's pretty simple. So that's it. Now, what I want to talk to you about now is a promotion that I have for the blog 5 of 5, the final blog for this LP Creative Series. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a promotion, I'm going to do some giveaways, and I'm going to ask for your questions. So I'm going to take questions that are submitted by readers of the blog and the viewers of or has any LP Creator questions for me. I'll take the top five, and I'm going to send them some nice prizes, a koozie with a couple other goodies, and I'll ship that out to you. If I use your question, I'll give you a mention. So please send me your questions at the information included with this blog in text. We'll see you next time on the final blog of this five-part series.